Hello guys, it's Jed back again with another video. Tonight one's is going to be a short video. I was made aware of a photograph um, of a lake, in fact, that has these power pylons running over them. And if you see this uh, photograph, it's obvious proof that the water curves. If people ask, where's the curve? Here's the curve, guys. Look at that. Look at that curve. And there's also a curve there. Because the thing is, guys, perspective only works so far on a curved surface, especially a surface so large as the Earth. You can see here, when you add the lines of perspective, it kind of works to a certain point on the basis of the pylons and it starts bending. You see the top of the pylons, this is where it's obvious. You see this obvious bend. So, if this isn't good enough proof for flat earthers that water bends, I don't know what is. It's obviously just a cult, if that's the case, because this is obvious proof. And this is Lake Pontchartrain. It's in uh, Louisiana, southern Louisiana. It's 23 miles long. And, the, and it has these pylons running right across it. And look at that, guys. Look at that curve. I'll zoom in a wee bit. Look at that curve, people. That is a curve. And if this continued, if these pylons continued around the whole world, it would just come right back and hit a curve. Simple. So the YouTube channel Soundly, Soundly, S-O-U-N-D-L-Y, he's been doing a lot of work uh, photographing this lake. And it's good work as well because it's obvious. It's an obvious factor. Curve. So it got me thinking, what would this lake look like if it was flat? What would we be seeing if it was flat? How would the pylons be acting on a flat lake? So I recreated, I recreated it in Photoshop using perspective, something Dell's mate Gav can't seem to understand. But I've done art, so <laughs> I had to understand the laws of perspective. It's kind of built into people that do art. But here, I've used the lines of perspective. And you can see, I use the vanishing point right to the vanishing point. So this is what it would look like if it was a flat earth. If Lake Pontchartrain was flat, this is how it would be. But instead, they're curved. Curved pylons means curved water. If it was flat, they would just keep going on and on and on and on. And the tops of the pylons would be straight. As you can see here, it follows that line. Just like the base follows that blue line. The, the tops follow the grey line. You can see here. But then it starts bending away because these flat lines of perspective only work so far on a spherical shape. Things start bending over horizons after a while on a, on a shape. So this, this photograph debunks the flat earth. Simple, simple stuff, guys. Look at that, look at that. And this is what it looked like if it was flat. This is how it would look if it was flat. It would just, the pylons would just get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it disappeared in, in the vanishing point. Without a curve, it would just be straight. Straight all the way, like Dell says, level, the water's the best measuring tool. Well, this is how it would look if it was straight. But what we find is it's curved. This is reality. This is flat earth. 
if it was flat, this is what it would look like. And it doesn't. It looks like this. So people, wake up. And check out Lake Poncha Train. Check out the channel, YouTube channel, Soundly. And it's, it's an Achilles heel. It's another one. It's another one. There's so many debunks right now. But this is just another one to stack on top of it. Look at that. There's the vanishing point. So there you have it, guys. I just thought I'd share this with you. Just another nail in the coffin for the flat earth. Right. Anyway, I heard uh, Glenn Earth Vancouver. He's having a hangout later. I think it's midnight around GMT time. Uh, it's six o'clock over where he is. But it should be interesting to hear what he's got to say. Anyway, guys, hope you're having a good night, a good week, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.